in the models they look for something twist in the face, character, attitude, personality. Exactly the same thing when art dealers look into the new artist or they want to discover somebody new. Dream, baby, got me In the 1990s, the new look in Paris was Russian models. One of the first to arrive was 17-year-old Tatyana Soroko, a former student at the Moscow Physics Institute. She'd never modeled before, but in 1990, a Paris model scout visiting Moscow discovered Soroko walking down the sidewalk. Soon after, the college student was modeling couture. I came and I started working right away. And I spent couple, uh, first uh, first couple of years I live in Paris until I met Serge and I moved to America. This was a so great great reason to move. Serge, whom Tatiana married in 1992, was already living in the United States. A Latvian emigre and fine art dealer, Serge co-owns galleries in New York as well as Beverly Hills. I'm so lucky that Serge in a different business than mine. I, I can't imagine being him as a male model or stylist or fashion well, designer. But you can't I should be so first. lucky. <laughs> something like that. Look at the detail. How old would you say that bag is? Probably from the, the 20s or 30s. 20s or you know. 30s. But it's expensive. <laughs> Fortunately, money's not a problem. While she's not a supermodel with big ad contracts, Sirocco's runway work pays her very well. It finances her other passions, collecting antique purses and finery. And I love the old craftsmanship of the people who made the beauty for women at that time. Too bad the shoes are too small. <laughs> Here now. Oh, perfect. This is the place after Europe, I'm thinking, this is the place where I want to live. It's the United States because the freedom, it's a real freedom in this country. And I feel protected in this country. This year I'm uh, receiving my American passport. <laughs> Do you love it when people are watching you when you're walking down the road? I mean, at the beginning, I was so scared. But now I enjoy it. And I think it's the only profession in the world where women dominating, mm -hmm. which is a great feeling to be a woman and feel that a man are not in this profession. <laughs> the man is under... Right, the women make all the money in this profession. All the money. The men, yeah. and, uh, and it's a great feeling. Sweet. 